Amigos, eh, parece ser que no conocemos del todo a nuestra madre. En este capítulo anterior hemos podido hablar con Elizabeth, la cual nos ha comentado que su madre la torturaba o le practicaba una serie de, de rituales porque creía que estaba endemoniada. Dios mío, mi vida, esto se está descontrolando, así que vamos a seguir con la historia. Bueno, che, no está mal, no está mal, ¿vale? No está mal. Nos han dado puntos, vamos a ver. Vamos a ver qué cojones le ponemos a este tío. Mira, la lógica. Ah, le podemos añadir cosas. Vale, a ver. Vale, esto no podemos ponérselo. No porque dice habilidad no obtenida, pero puedo, a ver. Protocolo. Vale, pues ya está, le hemos puesto protocolo. Ah, que le hemos obtenido. Compórtate en toda situación social. Sírvete para elaborar halagos apropiados. Vamos a ponerle este. Le ponemos dos, ¿vale? Y este es, analiza y lee la conducta de las personas como si fuera un libro abierto. Advierte cualquier elemento extraño, conducta. Este me, este me gusta un montón, ¿vale? Nos queda un punto. Agilidad y sírvete pens pensamiento lógico y habilidades retóricas. Vale, pues este, ¿vale? Y... Eh, quitar todos los... Ah, coño, que los he quitado. No, ya está. Vale, pues ya está, ¿no? ¿Para qué? Ah, que me... Vale, pues... Que tenemos tres puntos disponibles. Bueno, este se lo vamos a poner todo, ¿vale? Este todo, porque los protocolos están muy bien. Y... Vamos a ponerle... Vale, este, ¿vale? Así que así se va a quedar, ¿vale? No sé yo si me servirá de mucho, pero algo es algo, ¿vale? A ver si la próxima confrontación la podemos ganar. A lo mejor si hubiésemos registrado el apartamento de Napoleón Bonaparte, right, hubiésemos obtenido información dinner, de él y hubiésemos ganado su batalla. Vamos a investigar mi madre. Tenemos que encontrar el lugar donde todos los ojos te up. ¿Cómo? ¿Por qué me abre esto? Ah, que tenemos que elegir ahora el libro. Novela epistolar. Ya está. Le ponemos el de psicología ahora, va. Por bueno, el momento voy a, yo voy a registrar la mesa. A ver. Discourse on the Method by Descartes. This book changed the way I looked at the world. Que encontrar cosas. Eh, 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 eh. Uy, ¿por qué no puedo caminar? Me cago en la mano. The Conversion of Ulysses by Gourges. Circe changing Ulysses' companions into swines. Me tiro al precipicio. A ver. No sé si podré pasar por aquí, a ver. ¿Dónde voy? Ay, ¿a qué me he ido? Sí, me he ido. Espérate. Que los otros han ido por la otra puerta. Yo quiero ver a ver a dónde lleva la otra puerta. Well, your eminence, do you still have any room left? Ah, my son, the sin of gluttony is the most difficult of all in my eyes. Nevertheless, what a charming moment we have had together. I'm delighted I was able to talk to Mr. Von Waldner. We hadn't spoken to each other for an eternity. Yes. I noticed that your eminence knew a fair number of people at the table. The benefit of age, my son. This isn't my first invitation to Lord Mortimer's. You will see, it's the perfect place to make new friends. Indeed, I noticed that you and Mr. Bonaparte had already begun. Bonaparte. Ah, I adapt quickly to local customs. It's <sighs> what I was taught. <laughs> and you are right to do so, my son. But tell me, have you had any news of your mother since your arrival? <sighs> Alas, still nothing, your minutes. But I still haven't been able to meet Lord Mortimer. Do not worry. It is typical of him. What can I say? Lord Mortimer is a very busy man. I should think you are beginning to worry. Well, I... 
I must admit, Your Eminence, indeed it does worry me. I understand, but continue to have faith in Santa. You'll see, I'm sure, that in a few days we'll all be laughing together. That's all I hope for, Your Eminence. But while I have you with me, I, I have a question for you. Go ahead, Louis. What can I do for you? As I haven't visited all the manor yet, I wondered if you hadn't seen a Medusa by any chance. I beg your pardon? Yes, La, la Gorgogne, the Medusa from Greek mythology. Would you have seen one in any shape or form? Not at all, my son. I'm not sure what you're getting at, but unfortunately, I, I'm not going to be of any use to you. Thank you anyway, Your Eminence. I won't take up any more of your time. On that last word, then I shall leave you to fight your demons. See you later, Your Eminence. See you later, my son. <laughs> The lock is surrounded by a triple circle. Siempre me pasa igual en estos juegos. El hijo, el, el bondadoso. Llave con símbolo de tierra. A ver si me sirve para aquí. The lock is surrounded by a triple circle. A ver si me sirve. Aunque lo dudo que me pongan la llave aquí. Que la ves. Pero bueno, había que intentarlo. Si el no ya está ahí. A ver, si me voy para acá, ¿dónde voy? ¡Hostia, qué guapo la biblioteca! ¡No! ¡Joder! ¡Cómo la puta! Vale. Aquí, aquí, aquí. Vale, misiles dorados, menos mal. Atrus, the Miller brothers. Mother expressly forbade me from re- Honey, the remedy of the gods. Pages out of an old encyclopedia. A ver, aquí andamos. Uy. Ah, ya lo tenemos. No estamos en lo de los cuadros. Tenemos que encontrar una medusa. No creo que yo sea. No tengo claro que sea un cuadro. A lo mejor es una, una estatua o algo. ¿eh? We're all eyes size you up. Chances are, that's the room my mother spoke of. And she also spoke of a Medusa. Should I go and try to find the creature now? Vale, vale, vale. Vamos con calma y tiento. Liberty or Death by Vignon. Well, I'll take liberty, please. Allegory regarding the decoration of the rights of men. That's the least you could say. Celia, the name means nothing to me. El sofá para sentar, si nosotros no nos vamos a sentar. Espera, ¿qué? ¿Ves? Joder. Papá, ahí quiero sentarme, coño. Vale, seguimos buscando. A meeting between Louis XIV and Philippe V. The company by Rembrandt. A fragment of amber. The company by Rembrandt. The fall of Phaeton. Another painting by Rubens. Poor Phaeton, struck by lightning for borrowing his father's chariot and losing control of it. Moral, don't steal dad's chariot. Ah, Francois Premier. Receiving the Holy Family, a painting by Raphael. The Song of Roland. Roland feeleth his death is near, his brain is oozing by either ear. With his brain oozing, it's already remarkable that he can feel anything. Christ Crucified by Velasquez. Look, 
someone's left a note there. Reserved for the Duke of Alquidia. I've got to find out what Mother was trying to do with her. The Medusa. A hero armed with a sword. Tenemos como verlos. Hmm. A hero with a lantern. And the last one holding a shield. I'll stake my life on it. All the statues form a single scene together. The poor devils are about to face the beast. Let's give them a helping hand. Resolve the enigma of Medusa. A ver, aquí me dice. Now, Louis, it's time to keep a logical mind, as every good scientist should. The aim is to defeat the Medusa. So what can the lantern be for? To light up the Medusa? <laughs> Hardly likely. The hero holding the lantern will be easy prey and the shield will be of no use. To light up the sword? No, that makes no sense. So that leaves the shield. Hmm, I wonder if the aim is to play with the light. If I turn the shield right, the light would be reflected. The ray of light will perturb the Medusa and focus her attention on the best protected hero. Pretty smart. But it also means I have to make sure I get the shield position just right. Bueno, a ver. Vale. Let's think. To vanquish the beast, the statues have to be lined up in a specific order. What can the shield be for? To protect its holder? <laughs> Why not? But in that case, what's the lantern for? Step back and take a second, Louis. Be logical, but open-minded. Think outside the box. Nobody said a statue has to have only one use. I wonder if the lantern was to distract the Medusa. This shield can both protect the holder and also reflect the light from the lantern to distract the beast. In other words, I'll have to make an angle of 90 degrees between the lantern and the Medusa by turning the shield to face the sword. If Mortimer is the one who thought of all this stuff, then honestly, he must have a screw loose. Crazy idea, but worth a shot. This hero is the only one holding a weapon. It seems obvious that he is the one whose job is to cut off her head. So, sword toward the Medusa. Vale, gira esta tuilla hacia Medusa. Y entonces esta que. Es aplastante. Nos vamos. Ole. Adiós. Ese juego está súper chulo, eh. Me está gustando un montón. Vale, a ver. Ra, for Pete's sake, Emily, you scared the pants off me. Don't ever do that again. Well, keep your nose out of my business then. I don't know what you're talking about. Stop fooling around and tell me what you're doing here.
Oh yeah? So tell me what you're doing here. I'm just... I mean, I... Yeah, just like me. Probably, but I asked the question first. Well then, we'll pretend you haven't asked me yet. What about a little gallantry, Louis? Come on, I'm listening. What are you doing here? I admit everything, madam. You win. I've been bitten by the same bug as you. I beg your pardon? We can't resist being where we shouldn't, seeking out our host's little secrets. So, we have that in common, right? I really thought you were going to answer me this time. Well, no matter. I'll tolerate your presence this one time. Now, since you're here, make yourself useful. Look around on your side. I'll do the same on mine. And if you find anything of interest, let me know. Oh, yeah. In your dreams. At your service, madam. No tenemos esto puntos de Tenemos puntos de esto, como tengamos que enfrentarnos estamos jodidos, ¿sabes? A golden fleece. It's freezing. Hurry up. Do you think that can really be Jason's golden fleece? No, you are aware that Jason and the Argonauts is a myth, aren't you? But Mortimer has been protecting this hide. It must be of great value, don't you think? Certainly of historical value. This kind of hide is still used by gold diggers in Eastern Europe. Now you see how easy it is to obtain a legend. Why do you have to act so nonchalant every time I show you something? Louis, anyone can kill a sheep, rip off its hide and say it's the Golden Fleece. We're at Lord Mortimer's, not at some farmyard fair. You're just too skeptical. And you have a tendency to believe anything. Talk about an unlikely pair. Yet, you know opposites attract, don't you? An unofficial gospel? You'd be more likely to find this kind of book at the Vatican. Nothing special. The library at Buckingham has three. Gee, is there anything England doesn't have yet? Wait, yes, there is. The United <coughs> States. Well, not yet. Besides, as far as I know, they don't speak French in the United States. Hey, Mortimer is the author of this work. He talks about his passion for art. Guess what I found? The Holy Grail. Older than that. A piece of Noah's Ark. Not that old. This could go on for hours. Just tell me. Caesar's laurel wreath. I can just see Mortimer, dressed in a toga, wearing a laurel wreath, strutting around his manor all day long. You have a curious idea of Mortimer. Why? He's eccentric, like all the English are, isn't he? Well, if Peru stands for French grace, then if I were you, I wouldn't be making that sort of remark. Esta señora me mira la moral. Oh, looks like a pamphlet on different political regimes, written by Mortimer himself. La espada de Arturo. Eh, you should no? see the sword, Emily. It's magnificent. I'm busy. Describe it to me. I ¿Ves? think this is Excalibur, King Arthur's sword. I've always dreamt of drawing it from the stone. How sweet. You're still clinging to your boyhood dreams. When you finished playing, maybe you can help me search the place? Amber. Here's something interesting. A manor in Maine, hundreds of acres of land in Catalonia, properties in Shanghai. Incredible. Some of these deeds are over 600 years old and all signed by the hand of Mortimer. I wonder if that's what inspired my mother's attention. How come all these documents have Mortimer's signature on them? Do you think all these properties really belong to him? <sighs> mm -hmm. 
Several people have played the part of Mortimer, a part that has been passed down from generation to generation. Different men, but with one sole identity. An intriguing hypothesis, and yet less twisted than some of my previous cases. At last, you finally agree with me about something. These documents are intriguing, but do you really think that's what attracted your mother's attention here? And how do you know my mother was interested in this room? I didn't know, I just supposed she was. And you just confirmed it. So, do you think she found what she came for? I don't know. She was obsessed with Mortimer, and I must confess, these property deeds are troubling. If that's the case, why would she have left them? Once again, I don't know. We'll have to ask her when we find her. And what's your take? Why keep such a collection hidden in a secret room? Any thoughts? Mortimer has every reason in the world to conceal it, even if only to keep it from people like us. Hey, Emily, we're not thieves. We're only looking. I wonder why my mother didn't make it clear what she was interested in here. She didn't have time to write it down, or maybe she wasn't sure of what she was looking for. Or she wanted to protect her discoveries. It's disturbing. You'll just have to search the rest of the room. Maybe you'll find something. What is that you found? A cameo pendant. What's going on? Nothing. For crying out loud, Emily, you lunged for that jewel like your life depended on it. Tell me what this is about. No. We just met, Louis. I like you, but I can't just suddenly open myself up like a book to you. Listen, Emily. It seems pretty obvious to me that you haven't come here for the sole purpose of sampling Mortimer's cellar. Stop all the clever evasions and just trust me. And why the hell should I place my trust in you, Louis? No te debos puntos. At least this way, things are clear. How do you expect me to open up to you at all if you can't even reassure me? Well, I'm prepared to trust you when it comes to choosing a French cheese. But I've nothing to gain by confiding in you oh, any further than that. Stability. Nothing to gain? Damn it, Emily! I'm only trying to help you. Stop needing to gain something all the time. Because you think I need help. Just like everyone. You have your strengths and your weaknesses. And there's no use pretending otherwise. Ha! And I bet you found out where I'm weak, haven't you? You think your scathing wit protects you, but in fact, it makes you blind. No sooner have people introduced themselves than you already see them in a bad light. You play the part of a strong woman, and yes, you are a strong woman, of course. But what I see is a sensitive young lady who lacks self-confidence. Stop adopting a defensive posture, and you'll see just how quickly new doors will open. There is some truth to what you say. I might have some weaknesses, but I don't need your help to overcome them. And I'm simply not contemplating collaborating with anyone at this time. Do you understand? Yes. You're the kind of girl who gets by on her own and who shares nothing. The fact is, you are completely mistaken about me. I already have a work partner. I know my weaknesses. I don't doubt that your abilities will be of use to me. But I already have all that, thanks to my teammate. Is there any chance you might tell me who he is? Mm, no, I've already said too much. Consider yourself lucky I've even given you this much. It's extremely rare, believe me. Come on, don't stop now that you've come this far. You know that eventually I'll end up making you talk. Well, since no one can resist you, let's see if you can guess who my partner is. You're a gambler. So, your partner is... Chances are, you're working with a member of the Order. The only members of the Order other than ourselves are your mother and Mr. Washington. The former has sadly gone missing. As for the latter, I knew nothing of his arrival, Incidentally, you must have noticed how inefficiently our order communicates internationally. Bueno. Your husband, of course. My husband? He can't even walk without a cane. 
poor Cheerio. old man. Let him live out the rest of his days in peace. How nice for him. Right, time is short. You haven't convinced me. I prefer to remain discreet. Don't, Don't take it the wrong way. All I can tell you is I'm looking for my sister. And if I reacted so strongly at the sight of the cameo pendant, it's because I thought it belonged to her. But it doesn't. I understand. I won't insist. It's time to leave. Madre mía, qué desastre. He perdido más. Es que el problema es que no puedes pensar mucho porque va por tiempo también. So, what do you think of our first adventure? I must admit it has been fun by your side. Same here. She's been drinking too much again. Louis, I need to talk to you right now. Good evening, Elizabeth. Actually, this is not a good time. I'm begging you, please, don't leave me alone. I'll be waiting for you in your room, but don't be late. I was sure there was a certain je ne sais quoi between us. Louis, we need to talk now. Otherwise, it'll be too late. Looks like Elizabeth really needs me, but... If I start talking to her, for sure Emily won't wait for me. What should I do? Excuse me, Elizabeth, but some very urgent business has cropped up. We can speak tomorrow. No, Louis, don't leave me alone. They've come back. Good night, madam. Hemos investigado su habitación. Vamos con Emily, que Emily tiene cosas que contarnos. Ya veremos a ver. Well, well, Louis, you took your sweet time. What did our poor Elizabeth want? She probably wanted to chat more about my mother. Really? So Miss Adams is somehow linked to your mother? In a way, I guess she is. But I thought all of that could wait until tomorrow. That young girl seems very... Emily, have I misunderstood something here? What are you doing in my room? And for a while now, the question has been nagging at me. And that explains why I now find you here in my bed. Go ahead. Ask me the question that's been burning at your lips. I know your mother was here to meet someone, but I can't figure out who. Oh, so that's what's been hiding behind all this. We are both members of the Order, Louis. Let's try to be honest with each other. I have followed with great interest your affair in Paris, in connection with Mr. Von Borschert. You managed to steal something from him, if I'm not mistaken. Are you talking about the Book of All Mysteries? al Azif? That's right, Louis. A valuable bit of plunder, isn't it? Yeah. When we finally found it, we took it. And where is the book right now? Amazingly, it's right here. Mother took it with her when she came. This is quite fascinating, but just what did Sarah expect to accomplish here? If only I knew myself. My mother always takes a sly pleasure in telling me as little as possible. Oh, poor little Louis. Your mother hides things from you. That's not very nice. No, it's not nice at all. And you, what were you supposed to do once the book was found? Give it to our sponsor, of course. Sir Gregory has more than one card up his sleeve. So you mean home is playing both sides? Right. Enough chatting. Come and join me instead. Mira, hemos recuperado, hemos recuperado un punto de energía. I have to go, Louis. I don't want anyone finding me here in the morning. You're right. Well, have a good night. Good night. See you tomorrow, rested and ready. Sure thing. Cosa más extraña, pero bueno. Vale, venga, venga. Ra rasgo desbloqueado. Libertino. Uh. <ríe> ¿Aún nos hemos acostado con ella, en teoría? 
este hombre siempre tan desaliñado. No nos hemos bañado, no nos hemos cambiado de ropa, no hacemos nada. Qué asco. A ver qué quiere este sirviente ahora. Lord Mortimer, Monsieur de Richet, at last we meet. Bueno, no me avisen ni para vestirme ni nada. ¿Esto qué es? Vale, episodio 1-4 Gorgona, ¿vale? Superada. Hemos resuelto el misterio de, de Medusa. Hemos descubierto la habitación de Lord Mortimer en la que oculta su tesoro. Hemos descubierto que Emily ocultaba algo. Hemos preferido unirnos a Emily y hemos pasado la noche con ella. Fallida. No hemos convencido a Emily para que nos contara su secreto. Y los caminos alternativos, que podría haber averiguado más sobre el pasado de Emily y de mi madre. A ver, ¿subimos de nivel o no? Espero que sí. ¡Ah!